This week's episode of the CBS drama Fire Country airs on a special day and time this Sunday right after the AFC championship game. Bodie and his fellow prison inmate firefighters band together with the civilian station to battle a massive fire after a plane crash. Air attacks reporting 400 acres, rapid rate of spread, moving up the hill. I'm going to evacuate the whole area before it gets bad. That shouldn't be too tough. It's pretty rural. I've already established Alpha here, and then Bravo, Charlie here. And Joining me now is one of the stars of Fire Country, Diane Farr. Great to see you. Hi, Cindy. Good morning. Good morning. Now, without giving too much away, what else can you tell us about the new episode? I want to tell you the ending. I want to give it all <laughs> away, Cindy. Just you and I will tell everyone on the East Coast. Um, you know, it's a story of redemption. Most of our fires take place outside. There's these big, epic, swelling scenes. And uh, at the end of the day, it's who wants to leave and who wants to go in. Firefighters are so unique because they run into those flames when everybody else is running out. But there is that little bit of a story of the people who won't go, who are holding on to something other than sort of what we're really supposed to value. So everybody has to sort of face off with that. And that's that's a real life problem. You know, we have we have these things that happen and people will not leave. And that's a, one of the great things about your show is you you're kind of showing what these firefighters do behind the scenes. And and the production quality is is crazy, as you were talking about. But anyway, I love your character, Sharon, because she's a very strong leader and a loving mother. Mother. What is it like playing her? It's so much fun. They've <laughs> given me so many complex things. Like she's a little bit tough and she's a little bit soft. My relationship with Billy Burke, Sharon and Vince is so much fun because they let us fight. We're married 30 years and it's like we argue, we pull apart and it's not the end of the relationship. I, I think so much we value that that initial crush up to the first kiss and then poof, everything's magical. This is sort of like 30 years deep. How are you getting back to that kiss? No, it's good. It's, it's very real life. The Fire Country is extremely popular. Since the premiere in October, you average 8 million viewers an episode, making it the top new broadcast series of the season. And you really show the heroics of firefighters. You must have a new respect for what they do. I gotta tell you, this is my third time playing a firefighter. <laughs> I adore them. And honestly, the way people treat them, sometimes if you're out in your turnout gear and you're shooting on location, we'll go for a walk to get a coffee or something and people wanna buy me lunch and people wanna just say thank you and they make their kids come up and shake my hand. I wanna die, I'm in hair and makeup. Like someone took care of my nails that morning. <laughs> I'm like, not actually a hero. I'm just a vain actor. But yes, cheer for them. Yeah, they are amazing. Now, you were born here in New York, studied drama at Stony Brook, and you do so many things. You're a producer, you're a writer, and I have to say, I love the videos you do with your kids. You've got the two twins dancing around, you've got your son. It's so funny. How do you balance it all? Um, I don't know that I'm balancing <laughs> at all. Most of the time I'm drowning, but I, I love that you saw it. I tried to take them like to see my relatives. My kids are half Asian. So I was like, you know, you're actually also Irish and Italian. And we took them to Italy this Christmas to see my relatives. And you know, you take them to these beautiful historical sites. And I kept getting very graphic videos of marble statues. They were they were picking that one area of the marble statue and they kept <laughs> taking my phone. And I was like, I took you to the most historic place <laughs> in the world and this is what you want to photo. Well, Diane, they, they are so much fun to watch. I hope your family keeps making those <laughs> those videos. And thank you so much for taking time to talk to us this morning. Thank you, Cindy. Great to talk to you. You too. Now, the brand new episode airs this Sunday right after the AFC Championship game. You can also stream episodes anytime at Paramount+. Plus.